growing up as a kid, Michael Long was you know, a role model and um, you know, someone that I really looked up to and um, you know, was the whole reason why I got to Essendon because of his phone call and I just finished playing VFL at Williamstown and went up to play in Darwin and um, playing for Michael Long's old football club, St Mary's and finished up there, played in the grand final and I was moving back to Haywood um, to play local footy and um, I played a couple of games with Haywood then got a phone call from Michael Long and he offered me the Michael Long scholarship and um, I had to move to Bendigo and play with SN Reserves, Bendigo Bombers and you know, I did that and you know, I was a second chance of playing AFL football. I'd previously been on Collingwood hooker list and got delisted and I guess the mentoring role that he's played for myself and also other young Indigenous people you know, has been really important and you know, that was something that was passed down to me via Dean Rioli who was like a mentor, a big brother for me when I first came to Essendon. And, um, and uh, it was a role that I played in my time at Essendon with uh, Paddy Ryder and um, Leroy Jenner and Courtney Dempsey. I first got involved with the Long Walk um, Foundation about four years ago as a board member. Um, I'm also involved as the Walk and Talk Ambassador and uh, the Walk to Talk is an um, educational cultural awareness program where we go out to schools and also go to um, corporate groups and um, talk about uh, Indigenous history um, the cultural awareness stuff and also how you know, they can get involved in, um, with the Long Walk Foundation as well. The, the brotherhood that you see amongst the um, Indigenous players is you know, really strong and um, I guess you know, I, the reason why we come together after a game is just because we understand the struggles and um, you know, the, you know, what we sort of have to sacrifice, you know, leaving home and leaving family and then um, you know, really having a crack at an AFL career and you know, it's just to sort of, I guess, acknowledge that as another Indigenous player that, that's doing the sort of hard work as well and, um, and then you know, we've also been lucky with the AFL um, Players Association Indigenous Camp where we get to catch up every two years, all the Indigenous players we meet up and you know, it's just you know, really good that the PA support that and you know, I guess um, you know, as an Indigenous player you know, it's really strong and, and you really need that to happen and um, you know, it's really good to see. The AFL Players Association Indigenous Advisory Board, it came from you know, the, the discussions that we had out of our camp, Indigenous camps, and um, you know, it was something that we needed, we needed to have a voice, and you know, I was a part of that, and um, you know, it was just about um, you know, speaking um, you know, for the Indigenous players in AFL and just making sure that, you know, that they're right with you know, where they are and that you know, they're being supported properly you know, by the AFL clubs. The dream time at the G Games has been one of my highlights of my football career and I know that the AFL they give about 5,000 tickets out to the Indigenous community so you know, I've got a massive family in, you know, from Haywood and Melbourne and I know that when I run out onto the ground I've probably got 200 family members sitting in the grandstand you know, watching me play and you know, I guess moving away from home and um, you know, to be able to know that your family's there watching you, you know, it's a very proud moment. This Saturday I can't wait for, it to, um, you know, for the long walk event and then also the um, the, the concert and also the Dreamtime game, so yeah, it's going to be a, a big, big day and big night, and you know, very excited. And you know, again, all the family's coming down, so I also have my son. He'll be playing in the halftime Oz kick, so you know, he's only six years old, and you know, to watch him out on the MCG instead of him watching me out there.